Rage oh, Comics. I remember and... Rage Comics. Uh, yeah, dude. Ordinary and New Internet have such, like, different but the same style of humor. Like, it's all baked, and it's all, like, terrible, but it's different kinds it's, of It's terrible. become more refined in recent time, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, Rage Comics have basically resurfaced as just normal memes now. Like, it's the same thing. Like, there was this one about, like, you know, like, Oh, when two like when men are talking to men, or versus when women are. Oh no, when two men wear the same outfit versus two women wear the same outfit or something. And it was literally the same comic, like the same joke as a rage comic that was made like years ago. It's like the more history stays, uh, the more we don't acknowledge history, the more it repeats itself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we but here come, we are. Come Battlefield kind of transformed from if we were to consider the two characters. Uh, Ness trying to come up with his, like, standard meme of, like, ah, oh, Ness has a annoying voice, to Yoshi just being, like, Ness has an annoying voice and screams, to Yoshi does tax evasion. Like, that's, that's the kind of varying levels of humor that goes on in the internet. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, but Battlefield, though, a big, uh, uh, I want to say I'm a little surprised we went here. I mean, I feel like Yoshi is pretty good on this stage. He lives for a long time on it because he's a pretty heavy character. And the fact that Battlefield has pretty high blast zones in all directions, or pretty, no, that's not the right word, pretty big blast zones in all directions. That and the fact, in terms of catching landings, I feel like Yoshi is pretty good at that on this stage because his up smash, as you can tell from that right there, is that back there is going to take the stock. Yoshi's up smash uh, goes through the battlefield platforms. It reaches them very easily and very solidly, so you can't really uh, land on them as easily. Oh, wow, going for a forward smash right there. I thought we were going to see a down smash to try to cover tech options right there, and I think that actually would have covered it. But fortunately for him, he didn't do that. And speaking of coverage, we got the jab lock into the down beat right there. Easy cheesy stuff going out for Pharaoh right there, able to immediately even this game out. Yeah, not going not gonna to see much of a... We're not going to see a big type, type of gameplay that a character like Link or Snake was trying to do against uh, against Ness. Like, Link was trying to keep him out with a sword, while Snake was largely just dash attacking across the stage. Pharaoh's style of Yoshi doesn't really attribute... If Pharaoh's style and Yoshi in general doesn't attribute to such a heavy ground game and focus on, like, short hop moves as much, while we will see plenty of short hop in there, Yoshi's gonna try and shark Ness, I feel like, at every opportunity. He's gonna look for these up tilts, he's gonna look for these up airs, and he's like, I'm gonna try and put you up way above me, and I'm gonna put you in precarious spots where you can't hit me with something like Nair to break your combo, you have to commit to either an air dodge or down air. Yeah, this isn't going to sound like the most astute of observations like it probably sounded like in my head, but the thing is, is that as that up smash does not take the stock, Yoshi, right, he wants to, um, he wants to play neutral. That was still big brain. Just, up just three in a row. I'm sorry, I had to stop myself. Just those three up smashes in a row. That was some thick brain stuff right there. Ooh, actual thick brain stuff. Dragging him down with the up air. Oh, uh, showing you, showing us that he knows what to do with this character. Anyway, though, what I was trying to say is that Yoshi wants to play neutral with a character like Ness as little as possible. And I know that seems like a pretty, you know, small brained analysis right there because, oh, obviously you want to play neutral as little as possible. You want to keep your opponent disadvantaged. But the thing is. In this matchup specifically, like, if he's actually playing neutral with Ness, it gets a little scary, because as good as Yoshi's air speed is and drifting in and out as that up smash takes the stock, Ness out of shield is pretty good. His Nair out of shield is a pretty good get-off-me option, and while a lot of stuff, uh, while a lot of Yoshi's stuff is very good and safe on block, you know, I feel like for Ness doesn't really care about that. He's just going to be able to get his Nair out of shield to just stuff out a lot of, like, Yoshi's approaches willy-nilly. So if Yoshi isn't careful with the way he jumps in and plays neutral with Ness, it's going to be pretty scary for him to actually make his way in, especially now that he's very high percent. And the fact that, you know, even at different high percents, he will still die to that back throw. And speaking of dying in the back throw... Pharaoh gets back thrown off the level, and he tries to mix up his way up back with his jump, and fortunately for him, just sort of miss messes with the, just messes up a little bit. It's just not able to make it back through the uppy. He egg rolls by accident, and uh, he just falls off because of it. Let's take a look again. The first one was pretty all right. A nice little mix up. The second one, yeah, pretty miss input to me. 
Yeah, okay. that had to have been that. Uh, he probably meant to uh, probably meant to uh, up E right there. Maybe just drift his way in, back out, and then back in and again. Since Yoshi is able to do that with how good his air drift is, but uh, yeah, unfortunately he egg rolls out. It's not the kind of omelet you want to have in the morning, but unfortunately it's the omelet that we're gonna get. I wonder if Yoshi likes his eggs scrambled. Considering, uh, considering he throws them and they explode like that willy nilly, I would assume so. And dude, another drag down up air from. Oh my god, these are so clean. It's not as easy to do as it looks. Yeah, he's got to space that right to get that, so... It's one of those drag downs that isn't, like, rapid-fire hits. So, like, each individual hit applies so much hit stun that it's, like, it's a little bit awkward to fully fast-fall with each hit. Like, one, of the, mm. one of the more... One of the more awkward drag downs to... A drag down that burst to perform, for sure. Yeah, like, especially against a character with armor like Yoshi. Like, if he didn't burn his jump already, what's to stop him from jumping out of that? True. There we go, trying to put up a wall with this double jump and getting up smash just high enough on the platform. That was a good catch by Pharaoh. Those eggs, man. Yeah, you know, with Yoshi, just Yoshi being as fast in the air as he is, you know, if he lands one of those eggs on you, trust me, this character would be able to convert from all sorts of places he didn't think he was able to do it. Yeah, air to air with Yoshi, like, he can... Setting up from below the stage and going uh, and then chasing down with that incredible double jump is so hard Whoa. to interact with. Bro, from downtown. From downtown? That back here. Oh, I, I'm surprised they didn't try to extend to the egg right there, but I really like what Pharaoh was going for instead. You know, it kind of reminds me of other characters. If they have, like, up air strings or anything of the like, sometimes people will wonder, oh, well, why didn't they finish their combo with an up B? Sometimes it's better to just leave your opponent in a little bit of hit stun with just a normal up aerial and then to land back on the stage and then just to try to cover whatever option out of disadvantage that they get. Like, you know, like, yo, you saw what Pharaoh did right there. Like, he just got a few up air strings in and he looked like he could have gotten a uh, little egg. He literally looked like he could have thrown an egg straight up to continue that combo, but instead he wanted to finish that up air string, sink back down to the level as quickly as he could as that up air takes the stock. He wanted to sink back down to the level as quickly as he could right just so he could uh, get back to the stage quicker to cover whatever option all was going to do out of disadvantage a lot faster after up tilt always looking for big damage there and a 41 percent combo is nothing to sneeze at Farrah certainly got a handle on this match just waiting out a lot of the Putting him above him and waiting out so much of the uh, mess options that are gonna event inevitably come out from a uh, narrow shield. That could swing him, as Pharaoh tends to do, throwing out these F smashes. Yeah, and here you go, trying to continue this onslaught with eggs right here, trying to convert into potentially a forward error, some other option to be able to close out this game right now as U uh, tries narrowly to hold on to his final stock right here and close out Pharaoh's second one. Oh man, this is looking a little ugly, but it's neutral's reset again. And oh, there we go. Oh, dodge that time instead of going for the Nair, and it kills. All right. All right, good stuff. Yeah, it was pretty much all he needed, you know, to reset the situation right there. I mean, Yoshi's tilts are just, they're all so good. You know, oh, up tilt especially sad. because it starts and ends behind him as well as easily converts into the up air. Like, let's take a look at this again. Just spot dodge. Ugh. And then his up air is just huge. So, you know, that's just a really good way to secure out kills. And good stuff to him with the patience. Able to, uh eventually secure that tilt into the uh into the up air. I mean it works out of a whatchamacallit, it works out of forward tilt too. Yeah, not like that. I believe forward tilt converts into up air, but I don't know. It depends. Yoshi's tilts are all just very, very good, so it was really good on Pharaoh to uh utilize them properly. Wanna see um, uh forward tilts, ultimate frame data real quick. I wanna I see how big forward tilt stops converting. I think up tilt converts later into up yeah, air. I think so too. I just wanna see how big it is. Oh, all of Yoshi's hitboxes, man, they're kind of, they're kind of bananas. Pretty good. And this is so weird, I just went on the ultimate frame data, and ultimate frame data uses the purple Yoshi for its hitbox visualizations, too. Oh, that's... That's uh, convenient. Now I yeah. get maximum ones. Maybe Pharaoh's in on it with ultimate frame data. 
That's pretty cool. Maybe he made it. Maybe he is ultimate frame data. Maybe he is the ultimate frame data. Maybe. I don't know. We'll never know. It's getting the, it's getting the crazy Smash conspiracy theory hours. Tin foil hat time. Tin foil hat. Oh God! Okay. Waiting that out. Oh snap! Jesus, what a drop zone! Just putting himself all the way down in that dead spot. Holy moly, Pharaoh! Saying I can kill this guy here, and I'm going to. I'm taking advantage of a weird situation. Here I go. Yeah, it felt like it wasn't uh doing that, but it was. It was players like Bankai, players like uh, Enzo, who would just like wait out his uh, his Ekoe off stage and just wait for him to commit to a button and then pop out and recover a ledge. That time, Pharaoh just said, "I'm going to save my jump and fall with you until either you die or you pop, you're forced to pop out." Exactly, you know, and like his double jump has armor too. So at the end of the day, I mean, if he, if Pharaoh is even uh, not Pharaoh, uh, is even able to put up a hitbox, you know, on the way at the top, you know, it's likely not going to be a hitbox that's powerful enough to break that armor. At least not at that percent that he was at before. You know, he was only at like 40 or whatever when he did that drop zone forward air. If he double jumped like through like PK Thunder's armor, I, I wouldn't put it past Pharaoh. I think he knew the risk reward there was a little more in his favor, so it was good on him to realize that as he takes a uh, second stock, looking very good in this uh, third game here. Oh my god, and the weight, not only just for him to land with an air dot, or and land with a nair, but then to shield right after. Pharaoh playing immaculate. Yeah, he is, as that back air takes uh, Pharaoh's first stock. He really is, man, like you saw like him wait, uh, you saw the weight on the platform after the egg lay. Like he got an egg lay and so many Yoshis would have just loved to jump up and down her in there, but he knew that that was the option that all was expecting and probably knew that all was going to mash out a little earlier or a little later on command to try to get around that, which was really, really smart of him to do. So instead he just chose to wait so he can get even more damage out of the uh, lag of the egg jump, which is just really, really interesting to see, which it doesn't have that much lag. You can't oh, actually buffer yeah, options out like of it. And that is actually the Damn. first one of those, uh, this is actually the first one of those, uh, little low egg throw into forward air setups I've seen him do all day. I mean, he's gone, he's been going for that setup all night, but he that's the first for time game. I've ever seen him actually land it. Last yeah, let's take a look at this again. I think he knew that the risk game. reward was in his favor. Check this out. Well, that, that clip is next. That was, that was just a, a really deep Yoshi play. That was the first stock. This is the one we're looking for. Yeah. Well, I was talking about both. Oh, see, well, it's beautiful. Case, He's been going for that setup go. at the ledge all day to just try to stuff out, like you know, just try to stuff out the invincibility of the uh, neutral ledge getup because that does convert right there. He's been going for that setup all day, and I know he's been going for it. He just hasn't been able to land it against anybody else, and let, until losers finals, where he was finally able to do it against. Uh, now let's see if he'll be able to do it again in this third, uh, this fourth game, I should say, to be able to clutch it out here. Smash rules a bit. Okay. Different different stage completely. No battlefield, yeah. no Unova. Instead looking for a center platform instead of any side platforms. Yeah, and I think Yoshi's up smash still goes through the platform here. I actually I am not sure. Thank you for answering that for me. I just wanted to I just wanted to make sure. You know, when I usually think these things are usually true, but it's not always the case. Stalling himself with the egg a little bit to get around the PK Thunder 1 just to make sure he can wave his way back with the Nair. A really smart option to make his way back to the level. Oh, this Pharaoh. That, of, that was a directional air dodge. I mm -hmm. thought it was a neutral one for a second. It looked like he was trying to buffer a roll and a uh, simple jab one is all it uh -oh. takes to make Oh, him. bad spot, bad spot, bad spot. Really, really bad, bad spot. spot. Yep. Oh, really bad spot. Yeah, the oh, armor! Wow. Yoshi. Nice turnaround on that. Yoshi double jump, my friends. It's has more has more armor than an internet simp. And you can patent it that. Plenty. Yeah. Definitely not going to be able to armor through that, though. He knew that PK flash would have definitely broken it, so he decided to just wait a little bit by the ledge and just hover. And the dead. Man. Oh, no, getting the weak hit of the back there. Got the right idea with the dare. Uh, didn't end up needing it anyways, because F-Tilt's going to clean that mess up. Homie, you just died to mess F-Tilt. Why does that kill? Like, I killed him at it's 120. Like, yeah, that's, like not, that's not that low. Or I, that high. I don't think that move is supposed to be that strong. Bad DI? That's... Hmm. Possibly. 
maybe maybe rage had something to do with it too, but like 125 after the hit, then, or whatever, it was something around there. Yeah, I mean to be honest, like if somebody before that came up to me on the street and asked me like, yo. Like, what does... Is Ness's F-Tilt strong? Does it kill Yoshi by Smashville Ledge at 120? And I'd be like, first of all, you're not social distancing. Get six feet away from me, please. <laughs> Second of all, I don't know. Oh, he's so no off. There's no... Oh, there was a jump. Oh, what? What? I thought he was taking it. Yeah, I thought, he, I thought he beat out his jump, but then again, it's Yoshi. I suppose beating out a jump against Yoshi doesn't really make much sense. Oh my god, so far Uz counterpick is working out really, really good from him. Just less space for him to get around PK Thunder. You know, more space for Ness to put out like, these uh, hitboxes to negate Yoshi's approaches. It's really good. And this corner pressure that Uz is applying is so good too. Like, he's making such good utilization of the center platform oh, to just nice. position himself properly to get these downward angled PK fires to just keep this pressure on Pharaoh whenever he gets stuck in the corner. Not even just stuffing out the double jumps, man, but just stuffing out whatever ledge getup he just chooses to do. And what a beautiful conversion to close out the game right there with those last uh, late hit forward airs into the back row. Oh, I want to see that one again. I hope Bro, I can see that one is, again at some point in my why life. Is, why is us so high? <clears throat> That's crazy. Hit, actually, both of you guys are d making really good plays. The, this Today has actually been very dense with like good gameplay. I will say that. Definitely a hell of a set. Let's take a look at this again, man. On the way back, just going to air dodge back to this ledge. And then... Uh, oh, that was shit! Yeah, that, that, oh, that sure. was a really sick yeah. play. I think like both these players are just two-stalking each other. They're both kind of like just kind of stunt they're trying to stunt a little bit on each other like between like um the fairs and last game coming out from pharaoh the uh the egg in the fair and then now you got that kind of cute stuff with the pk magnet these guys are definitely showcasing uh basically what their characters can do because they're both character specialists um ah uh, man i could have been clean with that i could have said uh is an s main but i didn't I like, uh, uh is an s main anyways caught me hey buddy you're dude you're caught you've been doing this for a while now you're getting there Improvements are slow but steady. Yeah. No. Yeah. So. Yeah. Chris, well, he's he's got the analogies. You can come up with them. It's just it's part of being a commentator. There you go. True. Yeah. There you go. You'll get it. it just goes to show, my friends. You just got to trust the process sometimes, and you will get better at something. Believe me, that's how I've been about exercising and about my voice and whatnot. Trust the process. Good old Philly Both these guys. I wonder what the process is going to do here. Um, so game the five. phrase, trust the process, it was, it started from, I don't remember what Philadelphia sports team, but it, I think it was the Eagles, or maybe it was the <clears throat> Flyers, or one of them, where the coach traded away a whole bunch of really solid but aging players, mm -hmm. and just started to hoard up draft picks, and that, and told the general management and everyone to trust the process. It'll take right. a couple years, but trust the process, and he'll get his team, and he'll get the team back into the playoffs, yeah. back into the winning records once again. Jeez. And while he was fired after one or two losing seasons, those draft picks started to pay off like a season or two after he left. And now the whole thing is trust the process. It's you got to. He didn't even get to read the. He Dude. didn't even get to reap the benefits of his decision, though. Yeah, it was a tragedy. That's Dude. actually really, that's really messed up. I can't believe I was actually hanging on after all of that, because uh, he's been getting smacked up by all these things coming out from from Faro, but still hanging on and getting still in the position to go up here. It's technically in the lead, so but he's many... the one getting knocked around. Yeah, he really is just getting knocked around. We've seen so many like explosive sets so far and explosive matches where somebody loses their stock in the first 30 seconds throughout tonight. It's been like two minutes. Neither of these guys are dead. 160, well, 150 plus on both of them now. It's yeah, still alive. This back though. Wow. Oh, no, he's not no, smart. On I, oh no, I, I but he wasn't able to get his jump I, I out. I respect the play by Pharaoh. Um, he went out there, I think, full well knowing that he's either just going to gimp him. Like, I don't think he was expecting to survive there, and, and he did the right thing. He, he, he ate up the lightning, or the PK Thunder, and then they both just kind of died. So, whatever, clean trade. Now sitting at a, a nice, clean, even game at, at early percent. So, 
I really like where his head was at going down there, you know, just utilizing. I think we meant. Yeah, I, I agree with what you said, Chris. I think he went down there just meaning to utilize the armor to eat up the PK Thunder 1 to make sure that Uh couldn't use it while he makes it back to the level. But then he knew, you know, we're tied in stocks. Worst case scenario, you know, we reset here, and that is exactly what happened there. And there you see him going for that egg throw to a uh, forward air setup again, not landing at that time because he didn't time it right. The point is. You could tell he's got the situational awareness to have been going for that all night, my friend. But there you go. That's now stress. off the level and trying to put his way back on, recognizing that he put himself into a bad spot as neutral is reset once again. Oh, and he's good late catch. Fares and he finally catches that air dodge in. He'd oftentimes be going for turnaround F tilts or over committing with fares. That time he just waited out and said, I know you're going to do it. I know. And hard punishes. Game five, no less. Yeah, there's ever a time to pull out the stops, man. Pharaoh's a very adaptive player. Absolutely critical for uh to basically find a way to get rid of Pharaoh like right now. One grab will do it. Yeah, you're right about that. We're we're okay. good. Not gonna do it. Clutch again. air dodge. Clutch, clutch air dodge to make it back right there. That was quite literally Pharaoh's only option. It's the dash attack. He's not, not gonna take it yet. Yoshi time. Low actually trading with the PK Thunder with the egg? Oh with the god. egg, you madman! And then he goes that low? Oh my god, you're crazy. That was pixels away with that just double jump. on here, just oh barely. Back god. throw would do it pretty much anywhere. Not gonna get it though. Run up jabs. How much do you want to bet he's gonna run up up smash? Oh my god, that looks so scary. <laughs> just that was a jump. That was a jump scare for me. All right, there we go. Uh, I was Farrow close enough, I suppose. It. Speaking of jump scares, there's one good jump scare for uh, uh right there, and that jump up air able to take the set for Pharaoh against him. 3 2, close stuff. Uh, finishing at a very respectable third place here, yeah. but just wasn't able to barely not clutch it. Was yeah, that I think good I, performance. I, that, was a, that was a double negative, I think I just created for myself. Was barely able to not do it against Pharaoh right there, but close enough. And look at that play, man. Ugh. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. I gotta tell you, man, U is a really fun player to watch, so I'm glad you entered these things, man. I'm glad you're making the most out of it. You've been playing really well. Really, really fun to watch. Meanwhile, Pharaoh is gonna move on to get what is gonna be a run back for him in Grand Finals against Enzo.